Hello, this is Ralph K. Gennaro. Give me a few minutes and I'll suggest an idea worth considering. Real simply, before the phoenix, there are the ashes. We will suffer in our personal finances, in our personal security, in the stability of law and order in the United States uh, because of the victory of President Obama in the 2012 elections. There is no avoiding it. Your buying power is already constrained. It will be constrained much further as the American dollar uh, recoils under the impact of three levels of quantitative easing. Uh, gas prices will continue to skyrocket. The coal industry will be murdered uh, or at least uh, kept in a state of uh, paralysis. American energy production will continue to be stymied and the cost of energy goes up, the cost of everything that we need goes up. The only people who will benefit from this are the most poor who are utterly dependent on Obama's largesse. Permanent welfare cases, permanent uh, food stamp cases and so forth. The rest of us are going to be sucked on like a vampire's victim. There is no avoiding that, nor is there avoiding defeat in the war on terror. It's coming. A new order in the Middle East is rising, and an American president completely unwilling to even say the word terror unless somebody holds his arm behind his back uh, is not going to stop this. Defeat on the war, in the war on terror for the United States means more freedom of latitude for the people bankrolling the war on terror, and that means the People's Republic of China. So the world order is going to be different. America is going to be less important. Our allies, if they survive at all, God bless Israel, are going to be in trouble. We will be weaker, we will be poorer, we will be more desperate and miserable and more dependent upon this vampire government. But those are the ashes, and they're really unavoidable. But suffering can teach, pain can clarify. And if we, genuine believers in freedom, are purposeful and bold in a way that we weren't in 2012, if we clarify and focus on the concept of personal choice above almost everything else, we stand for the America that people come from all around the world to be a part of. From the ashes of 2012 will rise, if we are confident in freedom, bold and courageous, a phoenix and America's best days yet will be ahead of us. Be well. Be brave.